squash. I love acorn squash. You will enjoy it too. It's a great addition to your fall table, your holiday table, your anytime table. Come on in the kitchen guys. Let's cook. So family, family fall is finally here. It felt like it was forever coming, but then with this COVID, it felt like it's I don't know what season is really supposed to be, but fall is finally here. <laughs> and we're gonna make some acorn squash. One of the beauties of fall are these beautiful, I just, I love acorn squash. First of all, they're so pretty. They're nice and rich green. And then when they have the little thing on them, the little kiss on them, I just love that. And we're gonna roast this, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I do it. There's a million ways to do this. This is just the Calabama glorious way, all right? We're gonna start by cutting it in half. So, I've got a nice big knife here, okay? We wanna go down, because these can be hard to cut, okay? Be careful, be careful. I can't say that enough. You see how I'm going around it, okay? You see that? And when they get it, there you go, see? Be careful, okay? That's important, <laughs> all right? That's how you wanna cut it open, nice and smooth. And the reason I'm trying to be careful is they are firm, they will come for you, <laughs> okay? These things will come for you. <laughs> they don't mean to, you know, they got a real nice nature about them, but um, they'll come for you. Yeah, I, I, I've been come for before. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna scoop out the seeds. I just get a nice big spoon here, see here, and just scoop, okay? I'm gonna get all of the stringiness out. I'm just using a piece of foil for this. Now, you can also save these seeds. Some people like to save these seeds and roast them. They're they're fine. I mean, it's basically like a pumpkin seed, you know? You see how I'm scraping the inside here, of the inner cavity to make sure I get all of that out? That's what you wanna do, okay? I also washed these before. I should have mentioned that earlier. Okay. There. Okay. Here. And then I'm just gonna take my knife and this little bit in here, see, I'm just gonna kinda, I probably shouldn't be using a knife this big, but this is what I actually do in the kitchen, so I'm gonna be real with y'all, okay? <laughs> All right, I just take a little bit like that. But be careful, I'm telling you, this thing will come for you, okay? See there? Oops, just got this little piece. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now, one of the ways my mom cooks them when she makes acorn squash, she actually takes the center part and puts, fills it with brown sugar and bacon. And, or, I'm sorry, bacon. <laughs> you see where my mind is? Um, brown sugar and butter, and you can make them um, like like a little little brown sugar well in there. It's really good. It's really sweet, but it's delicious. Um, that's one way to eat them. I find that way works better if they're smaller. You know, acorn squash. These are pretty big. These are good for slicing or you can stuff them savory. You can make sausage stuffed acorn squash. I'm telling you, squash are really versatile. Okay, again, we're gonna scrape out this little inside of here. There, see that? Just like so. I should probably get another knife. <laughs> Cause I can feel y'all scared for me. But I just wanna get that stringiness out. There we go. Okay, all right, let me make sure I got it like I want it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take this and slice it, okay? So in slicing it, this, again, if you wanna save the seeds and roast them, go for it. I'm just gonna do this, toss them. All right, now once we've got this, here, we're gonna get rid of this part. Turn her over, like so. 
and begin to slice. Now, you don't want to slice it too thick or it'll take them a long time to cook, but you don't want to slice them too thin or they'll just become like quick and soft. Some of you too quick, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, there. You see how I'm actually deliberately going in with the knife? I'm trying to turn this at an angle so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? And between each of these, I'm cutting them about halfway between the dimples, okay? And I say about halfway because it's not an exact science, as you see there, <laughs> but at the same time, you want them to be roughly the same uh, thickness because you want the cooking time to be consistent and to get done all the same time, okay? See there? And be careful, these are not, these are hard to cut. They're not impossible to cut, okay? But these are not, um, they're not just gonna be like, oh yeah, we're just gonna get cut. No, they're gonna be like, are you sure about this? Okay. Now I'm gonna cut off that little, this top part here. I'm just gonna go underneath it like this. There, okay? Oh, and the bottom. Boom. <laughs> okay. Another thing you can do is you can start by putting your knife down in it first like this, and then go back and around. That works too. Pick, honey, pick how you want to cut this thing. Okay, just cut it. Just get the thing cut up. So I've cut up my squash, I've done my slices. But you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna cut these in cubes like this. Not tiny cubes, they'll be, you know, bigger pieces. I'm going to cut them like this and we're going to toss them and roast them like that. And that'll help deal with any of them that come out too big or anything that happens in the in the cutting process. We're going to have these nice big chunks. So what are we going to call this, guys? Um, roasted acorn squash chunks. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> but honestly, you can keep them whole or keep them in, um, in the slices like we did initially. But... I don't know, this is kind of an easier way for me, I think. At least it is today. And how many times have you seen somebody slice them? They're always sliced, right? We do something different over here. There we go. And I am cutting them in big pieces, relatively consistently, okay? There we go, a little piece of squash. All right. Now we've gotten our acorn squash all cut up into these nice big chunks, okay? They're not exactly cubes, they're chunks. And what we're going to do now is we're gonna put a little bit of oil on them, we're gonna to toss them, and then we're going to season them. So I'm gonna start with this little bit of olive oil here. Okay. Not a ton, don't need too much, okay? We're not frying. Although I wonder what fried squash would taste like. Okay, I'm sorry, I digress, I digress. Okay, <laughs> I've got some brown sugar here. Now I'm gonna make up, this is a seasoning I like, okay? I like to do a brown sugar with chili powder. I love chili powder and you put it with the brown sugar on the squash, it's just amazing. You can just stick with cinnamon and brown sugar and that'll be good too, but if you want just a little flavor without extra heat, just trust your girl, try out your little chili powder. Here I've got about a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna set aside some of that, it might be more than I need. And here's some chili powder, about a tablespoon, okay? And I'm, I am gonna sprinkle a little nutmeg in there, okay? Because we do need a little bit of nutmeg. Oh, hold on. So we've got our brown sugar, some chili powder. Gonna add a little nutmeg to that. Y'all, I thought the nutmeg was open. Where's my head today? <laughs> and we also wanna put a nice, generous dash of salt. Salt is very important. Trust, that's about a teaspoon. All right, now we're gonna mix this up. See how the chili powder in there? What's so cool about using chili powder and brown sugar together is the flavors complement each other. And chili powder by itself is not hot. It just has a really nice rich flavor. But when you put it with the brown sugar together, the two just dance. <laughs> I'm laughing at how crazy that sounded. Okay, olive oil, right? Let me get a spatula from here so I can just toss these around like so, okay, see that, oh yeah, and that oil is going to help this stick and it's going to help them have a nice flavor to it. And now I'm going to just go in like this, put this brown sugar and chili powder mixture on here, stir it 
start with a half of it. You mix these up real good, see that? If you do the slices, you can actually put this mixture in a dish, shallow dish like that, and you take them, and you can lay each one side by side and then lay it on your dish. Just a little, just a little tidbit for you. Put a little bit more on there. I like seasoning on my food, so. That's just is what it is, <laughs> all right? And now after I've got that, oh yeah, see look how good that looks. I'm gonna go and sprinkle a little bit more of this chili powder in there, because I want the flavor of the chili powder. And just for kicks, I have a smidge of cayenne. And I'm doing it from here because I'm not gonna put a lot in. We just want a little kiss, a peck of heat, right? Sometimes we talk about a kiss of heat. This time we want a peck. Just a, not no, that's a kiss. We don't want that, more. okay? All right, let's get this all tossed in together. Look at that, doesn't that look good? Okay. I'm gonna get my sheet pan here, which I have lined with foil paper. This is the fun part. Dump them out, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Seasoning and all. Now you wanna make sure that you spread them so they're in an even layer, so everything can roast alone, okay? Oh yeah, these look so good. I can't wait. This is fall to me. Fall to me is soup and squash. I guess I should make squash soup then, huh? <laughs> Maybe. I bet that's what's coming next. I don't know, y'all. Okay, get these on one layer. Doesn't matter what side is up or down, just have them laying down. Okay. Let's make sure we got them like we want them. Need some more space, just push and tuck, push and tuck, tuck and push, tuck and push. Let's put some more sugar. Alright, look good, y'all. Looks right. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over the top of this with just a little more of this chili powder. I like chili powder, okay? And trust me, the brown sugar is gonna counter the chili powder beautifully, so it's not gonna to be too hot and spicy, okay? I promise you, you have my word. And I'm a mom, I can't tell stories. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, we <laughs> get a paper towel for my hands since I got them all dirty. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more of this brown sugar on top. Get a nice caramelization on there. We already had salt in there, and when it comes out, you can hit it with a little more salt if you want or if you need it. All right, here we go. And we already put that little peck of heat on there. Remember that peck of heat? Remember that first peck of heat? Just another little peck. This is a wink of heat now. First we did a peck, now we did a wink. All right, we're gonna put this in the oven 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Check them when they're nice and soft and you can get through them. They are done. Let's get these in the oven. Well fam, our apron squash has been in the oven for 20 minutes on 400 degrees. And look how beautiful this looks. I want you to see how I can test our done. This is a regular nice big toothpick. I picked a nice big one here and look. That's done. You want this toothpick to cleanly go through the whole thing. That's perfect. And some of these smaller pieces as well. See that? Oh, you see the sugar? That's a nice caramelization going on on here. Oh, this looks so pretty. I'm gonna taste one. They're hot though, they're still smoking. I'm kind of scared, but I'm gonna find a small piece. Oh Lord, okay. See how that skin got nice and that um, real nice hunter green or like a really nice forest green. It smells so good. It smells like fall. I'm telling you. Hot. Oh. Oh my God. I love this. Oh yeah. And that chili powder with the brown sugar and that little peck and wink of heat. Mmm. There we go. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. All right, guys. That's it. We're gonna put these in a bowl, have a really pretty serving dish with them and make it look all cute, you know, and things. Perfect addition for your holiday meals or 
your fall table. Have a great day. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time right here on Calabama Cooking for more with me, Chef Lorius. Happy cooking. Thank you.